Cases of hepatitis B have been rising in the country, a trend some linked to the heroin and drug epidemic. For the past two decades, there has been a vaccine against the virus for children. But a new vaccine recommended by a federal panel this week is for adults. News 8's Madeline O'Neill explains. It's one more weapon in our arsenal. A new hepatitis B vaccine, the first in 25 years, comes at a time when cases of the virus are rising. We're definitely not in the midst of an outbreak of hepatitis B, but it certainly is something that could run rampant in our community if we didn't have people protected. Gunderson Health System's Bridget Paff says the virus, which causes serious liver infection and is spread by blood or other bodily fluids, is more common in high-risk populations such as healthcare workers, IV drug users, and jail inmates. Many of our inmates do have hepatitis B. Of the about 323 million people in the country, it's estimated between 850 thousand and 2.2 million people live with the disease chronically. Well, that's very scary. Lacrosse County Sheriff Steve Helgeson says at one point, nearly half of county inmates who signed up to be tested for hepatitis B had the virus. Given that it's such a, a serious disease, it's frightening how many people are infected in our community. He thinks the vaccinations would be helpful, but worries about the challenges in getting it to inmates. The issue is oftentimes, of course, financial. Still, Mayo Clinic Health Systems, Dr. Ala DeBabna would recommend the vaccine to any adult prone to infected bodily fluid exposure, including paramedics or even world travelers. Vaccines work. And wants to be careful not to single out a certain group, such as drug users. And some populations uh, tend to get blamed for certain things. Uh, and really the point of the new vaccine is to provide a benefit and anybody who can be at risk for hepatitis B should get the vaccine. In La Crosse, Madeline O'Neill, News 8. The original hepatitis B vaccine for kids is given in three doses over six months, but this new vaccine is given in two shots over one month, so health experts hope that will improve vaccination rates among adults. It's still so new that it's not yet available in the Cooley region, though.